Come to McGill. Come you're to gonna, McGill. No, out. Concordia. He knows. <laughs> he tried both. Conc okay, no, Concordia is <laughs> a good school as well. It's a great school. <laughs> like everybody's gonna like point for you. In. I know it's gonna be bad. No, Concordia is a great school. I love Concordia. <laughs> They're both good schools. <laughs> um, McGill's awesome. Hey weirdos, so today I'm bringing the video uh, in the street, so it's way out of my comfort zone, but for you, I'll do anything. So I'm trying to gather best uh, studying tips and advice from former Miguel students, and where else to find the most studious Miguel student than the library. So yeah, we're gonna interview people in front of the McLennan Red Path Library and see what good advice they can give us on studying and Miguel in general. So what's your name? My name is Amanda Abrams. And oop, are you huh? Okay. And where are you from? I'm from Montreal. Do you want to be in too? Yeah. What's your name? Bianca. And where are you from? Beyond uh, Bay. Okay. And are you a teacher too? No. She's a friend. Okay. Yeah. Teacher. Okay. What would be your best advice for freshman students that arrive to McGill and keep up with classes? Aside from studying very hard and listening to your profs and doing all the assigned reading and the work. Um, my best advice would be to really get involved in everything that McGill has to offer. So there's unbelievable clubs and services and communities here at McGill and it's a whole experience to come to school here. So it's extremely important to take your studies seriously and to stay on top of it and not to take on too much. But while you're here you should really, really get involved. Uh, there's something for everyone. So. And I forgot to ask which class do you teach? I teach accounting! Oh. Intermediate Financial Accounting 1 and 2. I hated accounting. <laughs> so are you a management teacher? Uh, yeah, Hotel? I teach in the Hotel Faculty of Management. Oh, yes. Okay. And in the GCPA program. Okay, yeah. so yeah. if you want an accounting teacher, she seems cool. Thanks, thanks, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for... My pleasure, class. welcome to McGill. <laughs> All right. So this was a McGill teacher. I did not expect that, but she was great. So we all know that we have like difficulty integrating to Miguel and everything. So what was your most the most shocking thing that you discovered when you were arriving in Miguel? Like school wise or uh, I think making your own schedule because you don't have anyone to tell you really what to do. So, the so trying to balance making friends and sleeping <laughs> and like doing your own and keeping up with school. I, that's what I found. Yeah, I'm in the same same boat, kind of just like being thrown into, you're on your own now, and oh, okay. kind of figured out, but it's exciting. I think it was uh, just hard to adjust because we had to like figure everything out on our own. Like we knew like our schedule and everything, but we had to like find all our classes, we had to like prepare out by ourselves, and I guess we were used to that in high school, like we had a lot more help in that way. I would say time management, like it's hard to, you have to really figure out how to delegate your time. Mm -hmm. um, by yourself because you're not going to have things all the time that are going to make you stay up to date to come to the next one. Oh, yeah. Like more like the independent. Yeah, freedom. exactly. Is it good and negative? Yeah. yeah, it's good and bad. You just have to get used to it. It's going to be shocking at first. The amount of studying, but... Uh, the workload? Yeah, but I think you can adjust to it if you just like don't get overwhelmed by it. You try and like... Keep up. Yeah, budget your time. Go to class. Yeah, <laughs> I did, <laughs> did go to class. Did you miss some classes? Sometimes? Oh, definitely. Okay, definitely that's miss honest. Some At least we all do. So, what surprised you most when you arrived? Um, probably. I mean, apart from obvious things like the weather and stuff, <laughs> it's just like how like so you're, early... you're a Canadian. Yeah, you I mean, like surprise you that much. Yeah, I guess not. Um, definitely like ice and stuff, but also just how early you have to wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Is there like, a difference in weather between here and? Um, it's like, it's like, here's like ice and like chilly, whereas back home it's just like slush and miserable. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's just a little different. Being so independent, like in Upper Res, I, that's where we live, we have single yeah. rooms. <laughs> Pardon? It's difficult, no? The, the hill? Oh, yeah, the, the hill, hill is, is also difficult. a shock. <laughs> um, you get but, used to it. But just like, you find yourself alone and you have to kind of adapt to that mm -hmm. and like, just get used to this, the workload. It's different from high school with yeah, huge classes. How nice everyone is, I think. Oh, so yeah. a good surprise. Everyone yeah, it's like good. Every, everyone here is great. Uh, yeah, no, I really enjoyed my time. I get involved in clubs. Yeah. Extracurriculars? Extracurriculars. Which club yeah. were you part of? I was, I was in, involved in a bunch of different engineering stuff. So uh, if you first year in engineering, don't join the U.S. Junior Council. It's a good one. So, But yeah. Okay, great. Maybe the engineering brush. <laughs> <laughs> brush? I was kind of yeah. shocked because a lot of party 
Oh, party. Yeah. Do you find it easy to make friends here? Yeah, sure, it's pretty nice. Like, uh, you can be from any kind of like crush or clubs and even you can go fast. Uh, any yeah. other tips for the freshmen? Oh my god. Um, I guess. Wait, which year are you in? <laughs> I'm second year. Okay. So yeah, I don't know. I also, I think you should go to Solon for res. If, if you haven't oh, already chosen. Oh, res is <laughs> Why? Why yeah. Solon? I was in new um, res, so. You were in new res? New res, okay. Um, Solon's, I went from upper res to Solon. I found Solon a lot more chill and the neighborhood's a lot cooler. And you actually get to like see a lot of Montreal. I found in upper res, you just stay downtown in like the angle part. Whereas Solon, it's like a little bit out of your comfort zone, but. So Solon has like cafeteria? Um, no. Well, you get a meal plan, so you get to like, you have like a small meal plan, so you get to eat around here, but. It's definitely a, a huge part about moving away is learning how to cook. And <laughs> <laughs> oh that, my god, don't tell me. <laughs> but like a that big part of Solon is also you get to know all the best restaurants. Oh. Like whereas people downtown just stay downtown. So. But don't listen to her. New res is the best. Miguel, so what surprised you most when you started at Miguel? And just a bit like being integrated. Uh, yeah, or the workload or making friends. Um, so actually I transferred from Concordia. So uh, my first, I was the first year I did. So what do you think about the feud, Miguel and Concordia? What's okay. the best? So <laughs> I actually okay. So I'll break it down like this. I think Concordia has a much better, um, generally the administration and staff. I find uh -huh. much nicer, um, and the, usually the professors. I don't, I'm not sure about every department, but at least in, in English, the professor and philosophy department are easier to talk to and engage with. Um, however, McGill overall, I think has a more active student life, and this is like a really good answer. Claim. <laughs> this is a controversial claim. I think it's I have a better student, I agree. student life. Um, there are a lot more student foreign students, and I find that really so more really, international and diverse. Yeah, it's it's very inspiring. I find to meet people from all over the world. Like it's just so great, especially because you meet great minds from all over the world. You know, you meet That's students that were the, the best in high school and stuff, and you get to meet people from all over the world and have and these different cultures mix in and stuff. Um, especially now that I do some, a lot of sciences, I get to meet people from across the world and. And that's the, I think that's, in terms of student life, that's the best part about McGill is, is you're in first year, I mean I wasn't here in first year, um, but from the people I know who are here in first year, they mm -hmm. make friends from all over, from yeah. all over the ground, and you, you get to meet friends that are, have the same interests as you, and that's really, I don't know, that's just, it's just so great. So was it a um, bit harder to make friends arriving from like... Well, since I'm from Montreal, world. all my friends oh, arrived from true. high school, so I made, I made some friends at McGill, but they're mostly just people from my courses. Um, I don't think I've ever made great friends at university, but that's because I'm here. People I do know um, from McGill, all, all their best friends they made the first year, like the res. Um, like mostly around res, they all like all their best friends in Montreal are all there. In terms of course load, McGill is definitely harder than Concordia, no doubt. No doubt. And your GPA is going to go down a bit, no doubt. And also Concordia is A+, plus, so there's a bit of a difference there. So you can get A+, plus at Concordia, you can get A+, plus at McGill. But I think you get, you learn a lot more at McGill, honestly. <laughs> this is all controversial claims, but You're I giving great answers, I you, love this. <laughs> you learn more at McGill than at Concordia overall. <laughs> and because First time experience, there. <laughs> <laughs> the professors are great in both universities. It's not the professors, it's just the, it's mostly, I'd say it's mostly just the, McGill has a higher standard mm -hmm. and the students are smarter and like being around smarter students makes you basically smarter because you're- And you, more motivated. Yeah, you're more motivated and you, can, you don't, com it's like, not high, I don't think McGill is highly competitive. It's more team based. Like in, in classes, we all, like students at McGill tend to team up, study uh -huh. together. At Concordia, I never got that vibe. Um, I never got that, that atmosphere of like let's all study together and practice and try to all get good grades. From what I've heard, U of T, um, this is all just like <laughs> blah blah. Like I'm, yeah, this is all just <laughs> people telling me this. But from what I've heard, U of T is um, what U of T? U of T, University of Toronto. Oh, okay, I don't I know. These are international students. Oh, okay, that so yeah, so University of Toronto um, is the sort of at par with McGill, some say it's better, some say it's not quite as good, but it's McGill and Toronto are the best schools in Canada, basically. Uh -huh. And what I, from what I've heard, Toronto is just as hard as McGill, but there's a more competitive atmosphere, and therefore it can be less, it can, it can be more isolating, I think, to arrive at a school where people are very competitive, very against each other. Um, McGill is a, hard, is a hard school, but I feel like students um, don't compete as much as they try to work together, you know, mm -hmm. to, to fight the difficulty <laughs> and the course load. No, it's okay. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Best of luck. Have a good one. You too. Bye.